Do you have a PowerPoint presentation that you'd like to showcase on your ePortfolio, but you really don't want to upload the PowerPoint file as a download? You'd rather do something more interesting like the embedded Slide Rocket? Well, you're in luck because Slide Rocket offers you that opportunity to import a series of either PowerPoint slides or PDFs in order to create that self-playing slideshow. So how would you do that? All you need to do is log into Slide Rocket, click the Import button, and then it'll give you the option. I'm going to be importing a PowerPoint, but if you're using a different software, as long as you can download it into a PDF, you can uh, import it as a PDF. Step two will give you two options. Uh, for a finished product, importing as an image is going to be the quickest and the most accurate conversion because it's just going to take a snapshot of each of those slides and then create uh, the equivalent snapshot slide in Slide Rocket. If, however, you are in the middle of a PowerPoint and you want to actually take it into the online space, you can choose to import as editable. However, depending upon the fonts and the setup that you've got for that individual PowerPoint, it may or may not move into Slide Rocket in the same way that you want. So um, if, you're, if, you, if you're finished with the product, choose import as images. If you're still working on the product, choose import as editable. So once you do that, it'll just ask you to select the document. I'm going to be adding in a small PowerPoint and it's just going to start the import. You can go back to your Weebly page and prepare it, pulling down, uh, say, multiple columns. If you are going to do the individual slides over here and then maybe a little bit of text on the side, so you want to pull down a paragraph. And then for the embedded slide rocket, again, that's the custom HTML. And there's another tutorial uh, within this YouTube uh, playlist excuse me, <laughs> that will let you do that. So go back to Slide Rocket, you'll see that it's finishing the import, and there it is coming up in the background, applying the theme. And once you've got it in there, you can see it, it takes all your slides, it creates those really great images for you. All you've got to do is go to Share, make the presentation public. You can choose a new name or you can uh, create another one. I'd imported this one once before, so I'll just give it a new name. Then you go in, get embed code. I'm going to do the smaller size because I know I've got the two columns. If I wanted to do just one on one presentation on the page, I might do the larger. So I'll do that, click copy code, close it out, go back to Weebly, go into my custom HTML box, paste it in, and then you can see that right now there's a it's got to resize the columns just a little bit. Um, again, if you wanted a smaller size slide rocket, you could do that, and there you go. Uh, easy to do to bring a PowerPoint presentation into Slide Rocket, embed that Slide Rocket into your ePortfolio, and make the look consistent between both types of presentations.